By age 30, Adam Knott realized that his life was becoming a vicious cycle. He'd been released from prison in 2004, but unfortunately landed himself back into prison by February of 2006. Now this vicious cycle is referred to as recidivism. Recidivism is the act of an individual being released from prison and then returning shortly after. After returning to prison, Adam Gaunt had the opportunity to sign up for an educational program to achieve an associate's degree, which he completed that later landed him a very successful job as a business analyst. As seen in Adam's story, research shows that education reduces recidivism. But in 2012, all of Indiana's prison education programs were cut, leaving 46,060 Indiana inmates without the opportunity to gain an education, to lower their risk for recidivism, and to become contributing members of society. So my name's Caitlin. I'm John. I'm Tim. And I'm Samantha, and today we'll be talking about the lack of education leading to recidivism. 76% of released prisoners will be rearrested within five years of their release. This recidivism has big effects on our society. Of the 46,000 Indiana inmates, 9,500 of them are repeat offenders. You all, as Indiana taxpayers, will have to pay for them. The cost per year per inmate is $18,000. This means that Indiana taxpayers will pay a cumulative of $175 million in taxes per year on repeat offenders alone. However, if we reduce recidivism, we can reduce this cost. Statistics show that the number one way to reduce recidivism is through inmate education. Only 5% of prisoners with a bachelor's degree will ever be rearrested. However, many states, including our own, neglect inmate education. Indiana used to be a leader in inmate education using the Pell Grant to allow inmates and colleges to afford programming. However, this all changed when Indiana residents appealed the Pell Grant for prisoners believing that they were not deserving of an education while serving time. Due to this, dozens of programs ended and now only one remains which we'll talk about a little bit more in our solution. According to leading experts on inmate education, in order to reduce recidivism and increase educational opportunities, Indiana residents must become aware that inmates are deserving of an education and there must be more upper level programs put into place. So our solution is the Bard Inside Out program. Bard University is actually based in New York, but they work with select universities to provide associates and bachelor's degrees for inmates. And unfortunately, right now, they do not currently have the capacity to take on any more universities or prison systems at this time, but we'd be partnering with them on a more scaled down version of their current business model. So for our, for, so for our Bard Inside Out program, USI will be connecting with the Indiana Women's Prison due to them just recently receiving a brand new computer lab We'll be creating an online hybrid learning environment for the inmates to obtain our USI Career Ready Certificate. Our classes will be held where half the students are inmates and half the students are university students, where they will be completing awareness-based projects such as blog posts and video posts about inmates' rights to really expand on that awareness. So research also shows that um, Employers are willing to hire previous prisoners, however, they are not showcasing their skills well enough. Therefore, with our certificate, we will be providing a, um, writing, communication, and business skills in order to effectively resolve this issue. So for our solution, students would gain the awareness as to why inmates are deserving citizens for education, along with those inmates actually receiving that education as well. So for our program, uh, primary targets, our primary targets are inmates at the Indiana Women's Prison, the U uh, students here at USI, and then the Indiana community in general, because one of our end goals is fostering community awareness. For supporting evidence and uh, scalability, we were able to talk with a former Indiana inmate named Brian, who was able to confirm that during his time incarcerated, he didn't have access to any post-secondary educational opportunities. Uh, we were also able to get a hold of two uh, leading prison reform experts, Rebecca Ginsburg and Jessica Neptune. Rebecca has had success reforming the Illinois prison system and spreading awareness via her book deal and her new speaking tour. And then we also were able to talk with Jessica Neptune, who is one of the heads of the BAR program. They're currently partnered with Notre Dame here in Indiana, and uh, they've had success lowering their participants' recidiv recidivism rates all the way down to 2%. So the success of these two uh, individual programs supports the viability of our own since we'll be drawing on elements of each of their programs. So our solution provides a unique service to Indiana inmates and university students. 
There are currently no services in Indiana that provide both awareness to students and education to inmates. Uh, the BART Inside Out program, or the BART University program, doesn't, it does offer education to inmates, but does not uh, incorporate students and inmates together, so there is no uh, awareness for students. The, additionally, they do not help uh, foster community awareness. Uh, the BART Inside Out program uh, requires students and inmates to complete public accessible in-class uh, projects on inmates awareness and education or inmates rights and education to help foster community awareness. Uh, lastly, the Bard University does not have the funds to expand. Our Inside Out program is a smaller scale university based program that can expand to any university willing to incorporate inmates into their current courses. The key to our Bard Inside Out program is our unique business model. Our end goal is to raise enough awareness to convince Indiana residents to advocate for inmates' rights to an education and to reinstate funding for their programs. Our business model ensures that this happens. So we begin with beta testing, as you can see, and our key activities and our customer relationships. This will be completely funded through Rebecca Ginsburg, one of our key partners who has agreed to share her grant money with us. It will also be funded through the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation grant, which we qualify for. Our key partners do more than just fun for our program. They also are our key activities and our customer segments. So USI is going to be providing our online content creation uh, through Blackboard. USI will also be providing our students and they will be providing our professors. The Indiana Women's Prison will be providing our inmates and Bard University will be working with our leadership team to help us develop our degree programs and to communicate with our partners. Altogether, these three partners are going to be helping us to raise awareness in our Indiana community. As we continue beta testing, we will be taking evaluations from inmates, students, and the professors to help us perfect our program. And of course, as we perfect our program, we will be continuing to raise community awareness. This community awareness will allow us to increase the amount of donations we receive and the grants that we can qualify for. With this increased funding, we will then be able to develop more of our degree programs and increase the number of partnerships that we have. Our end goal is to raise enough community awareness so that we can apply for the Second Chance Pell Grant. This is a version of the Pell Grant that Indiana previously had. This will allow us to become completely sustainable. So year after year, we will not have to continue applying for funding. And then the last component of our business model is our low cost structure. To completely certify one inmate, it is about $5,000. If you compare this to the $18,000 it costs to hold an inmate for one year, we become socially beneficial to the Indiana taxpayer. So overall, the Bard Inside Out program is a simple, one-of-a-kind solution that benefits inmates, students, and our community. Thank you.